Hello and welcome to a new episode of Go Glendora. I'm Craig Gill. Each show we highlight recent city-sponsored events and activities and also inform you about city programs and services. This episode, the Community Services Department invites you to host your next event at one of Glendora's beautiful parks. And we celebrate Earth Day in Glendora. Plus, an important crime prevention tip from the Glendora Police Department. And in our technology report, we'll introduce you to a convenient new accessibility feature on the city's website. First, host your next event at one of Glendora's beautiful parks. Hi, I'm Kelsey Fay from the Community Services Department, here to give you more information on how to reserve a site for your next gathering at one of our beautiful parks. We offer sites equipped with park benches and trash cans, and some locations have barbecues at seven different parks across Glendora. Let's take a look. First, let's visit Finkbeiner Park. This location has four basic picnic sites, ranging in size and capacity to fit your needs. Also at Finkbeiner is our highly desired shade structure, which has shade canopies covering the entire space. This area can be booked as half or the full structure depending on the size of your party. Next, we offer Gladstone Park. This location has five picnic sites ranging in size from two to six picnic tables and two trash cans. Gladstone Park has a volleyball court, basketball court, and two different size play structures and is a great park for all ages. Next, South Hills Park is filled with beautiful trees creating shade, a wonderful location to help beat the summer heat. These two sites are located in between the play equipment and dog parks, great for family fun. Ole Hammer Park has three single bench sites located next to Cullen Elementary School in the heart of Glendora. Each site includes one table and a barbecue, all in close proximity to the volleyball courts. Willow Springs offers one single bench site located near Sellers Elementary School, great for a more secluded gathering away from the hustle and bustle. Tucked up against the foothills is Big Dalton Campground, making it feel like you are truly away from it all. With the stream running through the campground and hiking trails all around you, this campground is great for overnight stays, weddings, and family reunions. This site includes an amphitheater, fire pit, restrooms, multiple tables, and barbecues. What a better way to spend the weekend away just north of our beautiful city. Finally, reserve Big Tree Park and check out the monumental Morton Bay Fig Tree, known for its large roots helping the tree reach over 99 feet tall and 47 feet in diameter. The gazebo located next to this beautiful tree is breathtaking for any outdoor wedding or event. We look forward to seeing you at one of our parks for your next event. For more information, please visit cityofglendora.org or call us at 626-914-8228. Thanks, Kelsey. Next, highlights from this year's Earth Day Festival. Uh, my name is Andrea and I am working with the Environmental Services um, Department and um, over here we just have information about our recycling programs throughout the city and then we're also giving away um, free bags and also um, flower bookmarks for the kids that they could plant flowers and um, it'll grow if they plant the paper in it. So is there a website that people can visit to learn more about Earth Day? Yeah, so um, the Earth Day website is cityofglendora.org slash Earth Day. And for more information about the environmental programs we have, um, they could go under the environmental services tab. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Today we're doing a lot of water conservation options for people. We have drip gauges to help them see how many gallons they're losing when they have a drip. Um, some water bottles to reinforce not using the plastic water bottles and using Glendora healthy water. Um, trying to promote that the drought is not over here in Glendora and we're still trying to promote conservation with some new rebate options for drought tolerant plants and other grass removing items. Welcome to Glendora's Earth Day. What can you tell us about Athens? Well, Athens Service is your waste and recycling provider here in the city of Glendora. And we're out here, we've got our Mighty Mike, kids are taking pictures. We're also signing up people if they want to order a compost or worm bin. We have some cool events coming up as well on May 18th. We're going to be doing a compost giveaway at the city yard. And then the following Saturday, we're going to be doing a household hazardous waste at home pickup. So customers can just call us in 48 hours in advance 
put it on the porch and we'll go ahead and have that taken care of for you. And you can get this in the mail, it'll be coming with your bill and it has all the details listed below. You can also call us at our 800 number too. So we are out here to showcase the city's transit service. Uh, we operate three types of service. We have a dial ride that's open to seniors and persons with disabilities. Uh, we have a Gold Line shuttle that operates from Finkbinder and the Teen Center and serves the APU Citrus Station. And we also operate a midday shuttle which primarily serves the schools in the city uh, and connects to the Teen Center. Uh, it's a great way to get around town. Uh, it's very affordable and uh, it's, you know, all sorts of services for people to be able to get to where they need to go. So where can the Glendora residents find all this information online? They can find it at cityofglendora.org slash transportation. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Now, an important crime prevention tip from the Glendora Police Department. Hi there, I'm Corporal Hauser with the Glendora Police Department. I'm standing in a parking lot for the beautiful Glendora South Hills Wilderness Park. I'm surrounded by hiking trails, but if you look closely at the ground beneath my feet, I'm also standing in a sea of broken glass. Unfortunately, parking areas for hiking trails are hot spots for bad guys looking to steal your possessions. The broken glass you see is from the shattered windows of dozens of vehicle burglaries that have occurred right here. Don't be the next victim. Please do not leave valuables in your car. Thieves are looking for purses, wallets, cell phones, computers, or other valuable items. Although our officers routinely patrol these areas, the bad guys know all of your hiding spots and they will make off with your stuff in mere seconds. If you leave your valuable items at home or take them with you on your hike, your car's window is less likely to be added to the piles of glass you see here in this parking lot. We want everyone to enjoy the hiking trails in the wilderness parks here in Glendora, but we encourage all of you to take steps to keep your belongings. Thanks, Corporal Hauser. Finally, in our technology report, Greg Morton will introduce you to a useful new accessibility feature on the city's website. In an effort to increase website accessibility for all users, the City of Glendora utilizes a free plugin from UserWay to provide additional tools for visitors. Users can access these tools from the icon in the upper right-hand corner of the website. Features include navigating the website via the tab button on a keyboard, which highlights the different sections of a website with a red box. The size of the mouse cursor can be changed, as well as the text size or contrast or color of the pages. Additionally, all of the links on a page can be highlighted or the font on the web pages can be changed for legibility. For visually impaired visitors, the new tool includes a page reader. The new online widget is just one way the City of Glendora is working to improve accessibility with the community. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you next time on Go Glendora.